Hello YouTube and Lego fans and for this very special video Simpsons fans Welcome to my review of the Lego The Simpsons House set 71006 Okay so down in the description to this video you will find a link to my unboxing for this set so if you want to see more details about the box, the instruction manuals and the bags of Lego that make up this set, then please go and take a look at that video. Okay guys, first things first, what I want to do is give a 360 view of the house. And this is the complete Simpsons house, garage, car, minifigures and some of the external accessories. And we'll have a closer look at those in a minute. Um, I'm just going to give this a spin round so you can see what the house looks like in its entirety from the external view and again some of that detailing um, also on the exterior of this house <coughs> excuse me and this really is I say this a lot but believe me guys this is an awesome set the design of this I think is absolutely fantastic um, a couple of comments from myself on this I mean although this is um, ages 12 plus I think it is um, this this really should and I think will appeal to a real broad spectrum um, I mean it's for all ages for the adults obviously it is a great um, setup display item can go great in a Lego city in my opinion um, for the Simpsons fans, absolutely fantastic level of detail, certainly when we have a look inside and the minifigures are great. Um, and for the younger kids, certainly the very young kids, you're going to have problems or need help to build this. But once it's built, the playability on this is fantastic. So keep tuned into this video um, and we'll have a look at it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so first up we will take a look at the car. Um, I'm going to be fairly quick with a lot of this review because this is going to be a long video again because of that detail. So I'll give you a quick spin of that. And you can see the sticker on the front, the license plate. Great pink colour. Obviously, these doors on the car do open on both sides. Again, on the rear. Back round to that side, we have. The boot or trunk does open. Um, I've put in the back of here one of the other accessories that come with this, which is this piece here, which I believe is a piece of radioactive material, obviously from Homer's workplace. Um, so I've just put that in the trunk boot of that car. Okay, we take a look inside there. Focus, there we go. You can see just down in here on the dash there is a um, sticker um, that represents a it's like a radio a radio player. There you go, better look at that and little gear stick and obviously the seating area you can fit two minifigures in here. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for our Lego Simpsons car. Okay, next up I've just taken you off the tripod to show you some of these external accessories and you have a quick look at the minifigures as well. Obviously there's Flanders there. Um, he is obviously working on this barbecue, um, cooking some sausages there by the looks of it. Uh, we have these sun loungers. And by each one there is a um, little glass there. A cocktail glass with some fruit in the top of it. Okay, going back to the rear, we have Bart on his skateboard um, and again on his skate ramp. And you can see there, El Barto, that's a sticker. Um, there, over to uh, Lisa. And there we have good old Homer. You can see there some of his detail. He's got his little briefcase there, obviously off to work. Over there we have Marge who's out doing some gardening so we have that wheelbarrow and some plants and some pots there there's also a little spade 
um, in that wheelbarrow there um, as well. Um, over to this side we have this mailbox. You can see that printed uh, mail piece um, upon the top there. Okay, and then yeah, over there we have Maggie with her dummy in her mouth. We'll have a quick closer look at those. Um, but we'll take a look at the minifigures now, I think. Okay, guys, like I said, close look at these minifigures now. So there we have Ned Flanders. You see that face detailing. Hail to the chef. Over across to Marge. And that iconic hair. We have this apron piece on down on her legs. Cross over to Lisa. Again, we can really see the shape and the detailing on these new moulds. Okay, then over on to Maggie. Again, that shape. And this, interestingly, is all one piece, uh, the torso bit here. Look at that. Um, over to good old Bart. Let's get that to zoom back in. So there's Bart. And finally over to Homer. There we go. So let's have a quick look at the rear. Okay, there's the rear of Homer. On the top, he's got printing on the top of the head as well there. Obviously the uh, comb hover. And there's the rear of Bart. Maggie. Again, you can see that torso all in one piece. Lisa. Marge. And then finally on to Ned Flanders. So that's our minifigures. Okay then, so we're going to take a closer look at the actual Simpsons um, house um, itself now. Okay, so just a shot across the bottom, you can start to see inside some of these windows. See there's the front door, again through into that bay window there, um, and then the um, garage. So first thing obviously the garage door does open, okay, get some light in there, um, hopefully you can see, yeah they're all the tools stacked up over on that side. We will take the roof off in a minute so you can have a look. I just want to show you what this actually looks like with the roof on. Okay guys, so this is a this is a modular design build, so these do detach. So you can see at the moment we've got the garage attached to the side and this just simply does pull away. So let's get that off. There we go. You can see it's held together here with these pins, and there's the doorway to get into the house. There. Okay, so now there we have our garage. Just give that a spin round. So again, you can see the door there, and obviously the holes in the bricks there for obviously those um, Technic pins to join to the house. Okay, so the roof just simply lifts off on all of these structures. You see there the design. Just quickly show you that. There we go. That's pretty much the same on every single one. Held on by these pieces. It is quite a clever design because they do are held on um, very well. Okay, let's put those to the one side. Okay, now let's take a look inside. Okay, first of all, we'll see the shot through the door there the doorway and let's go up over inside um, and again great detailing and features in here obviously we have a bench there with a toolbox um, there's a broom there up against the wall and then obviously there there's a lot of um, tools and lubricants and oils etc so this rack here has got some tools um, on there screwdriver oil can but then this down here is full Full of loose toys, uh, tools. Sorry, um, down there. Open that up. More light in there, actually. 
Um, yeah, full of tools. I'm not going to get them all out. But it's kind of your normal tool accessory um, that you get in many of the sets. Um, and you can see there, I'll take that round. There's the garage door. You'll see that mechanism there to close it up. And obviously, we have windows at either end of this structure. Um, two. So there we go. So that is the garage. Okay, guys. So um, again, look at our main house, and again, um, or rather not again, but one of the great features, probably the main feature of this particular set and this house, is exactly what I'm going to show you now. So um, you can see if I take you around this side, actually, up the chimney breast there. Um, you can probably make out there are some hinge um, pieces in there. And they're obviously there for a purpose. So this does just simply open up. We just get there. Okay, some accessories there. You can see now this starting to open. There we go. Let's just zoom that out a little bit more now. Okay, guys. There we go, now we can see the Simpsons house in its glory on the interior of the house. Okay then, so let's take a closer look at some of this detailing on the interior. Let's take you along. Like so. down the bottom and there we get our first glimpse of that iconic sofa there in the rear and the TV <clears throat> okay so the next thing that we can do on this which I will do because it will help with um, some lighting is as per the garage let me just spin this round actually take that hinge piece round there these roof pieces yeah quick look at the aerial there Again, these just simply lift off, like so, um, and the same over on this side with a small roof piece here, and then this bigger section here. So that's going to allow us to get a bit more light into the building now. Okay guys, I'm going to start on the ground level. So this is um, going to be the um, rear side of the uh, main lounge area. So what we have in here is this piano and stool. Now everything you can see in these rooms, or pretty much everything, um, does come out. Um, they do have, or are rather, you can see there, some plates with the stud bits on them to hold pieces in place. So first up here we have this piano. Cool looking. It does go in there and it will attach to those there and um, then this is just a little um, freestanding stool piece over to the rear section of the kitchen stroke dining room and again you can see in there there's a table and two chairs a couple of mugs on it and again this all does come out chairs as well come out as you can see there and we have some kitchen cabinets um, some accessories again another mug some pans um, up top there you can make out there are some cabinets up there um, and there are bits in there you can see there they've got the clear um, doors to them and these do open okay so for the purposes of timeliness I'm not going to get all these pieces out but it does come with a number of accessories for the kitchen actually and in these drawers and again I apologize for this camera shake open this up 